Last week, the former Speaker of the House of Commons revealed what Canadians frankly already know about Justin Trudeau, and that is that he is a liar and that he will throw anyone under the bus to protect himself and avoid accountability. Last September, at an event organized by Justin Trudeau, a former SS soldier was introduced and honored in the House of Commons during the address of the President of Ukraine. Even though this was Justin Trudeau's event, he claimed somehow that he had no idea and that his office was not responsible for the vetting of a guest who turned out to be a former SS soldier. In typical Justin Trudeau fashion, he blamed someone else. In this instance, he threw the then speaker, now former speaker, under the bus who resigned on the orders of Justin Trudeau. Frankly, Justin Trudeau's version of events have never added up. And last week, in the interview given by the former speaker, he said that, in fact, Justin Trudeau's office plays a major role in the vetting of guests for major events like that of an address by the president of Ukraine before Canada's parliament. Normally it goes to the prime minister's office and they go through it with a fine-tooth comb. And then the invitation goes out from protocol. Indeed, according to the former speaker, the Justin Trudeau's office vets guests with what he characterized as a fine-tooth comb. So, in light of the former speaker's comments, Conservatives forced a meeting of the House of Commons Procedure and House Affairs Committee to get to the bottom of Justin Trudeau's lies. The committee convened yesterday, and when it did, Liberal MPs, no doubt on the orders of Justin Trudeau, kept the committee meeting behind closed doors to prevent Canadians from witnessing their obstruction, and then Liberal MPs proceeded to use procedural tricks to thwart the committee's investigation. Because the committee hearing, thanks to Liberal MPs, was held in camera behind closed doors, I'm not able to tell you exactly what happened during the meeting. But here's what I can tell you. No further progress has been made in the investigation, and Canadians are no closer to getting the answers they deserve about this sordid affair. Liberal MPs are desperate to cover up why it is that under Justin Trudeau's watch, a former SS soldier was introduced and honored in Canada's parliament. But at the end of the day, it was Justin Trudeau's event, it was Justin Trudeau's failure, and it is ultimately Justin Trudeau's responsibility. So, no matter what procedural tricks the Liberals throw at us in the coming days and weeks, here's what I can assure you. That is that Conservatives will continue to demand accountability in the face of Liberal obstruction. Canadians deserve answers and they deserve to have the assurance that this type of colossal international embarrassment that happened under Justin Trudeau's watch will never happen again.